Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I kind of saw this coming a mile away. So for the past few weeks now, I've been reporting on all the media hype going on in Australia about COVID cases and everything. And then we just had the big, huge outbreak on the Majestic Princess, over 800 cases of passengers on board. The fact that they were still let off the ship, they were allowed to go to the airport, the things like that, they weren't brought to hotels. And I said, something's gonna have to change in the near future to myself. And I said, I have a feeling I'm not going to be a fan of what's coming next. And lo and behold, today, Carnival Corporation has announced they are going back to heavy protocols on board all of their ships sailing out of Australia and New Zealand and the surrounding area. How far that covers yet, I don't know, uh, but... For now, Australia and New Zealand for sure. That includes P&O, that includes Seabourn, that includes Holland, Princess, Carnival. You get the picture. All of their nine brands, any ships sailing in that area are going to these protocols. What are those protocols, you ask? Well, number one, the mask is back on all ships. Masks are now mandatory inside and outside if you're gathering in an area like the Sail away party, for instance, also mandatory out there. Indoors, on excursions, they are mandatory on the uh, in the terminal, both embarkation and disembarkation. The only time you're now you're allowed to take your mask off is eating or drinking. And I predict, just a prediction, I predict you're going to see a lot of people walking around with a drink in their hand just so they don't have to keep that mask on while they're walking around indoors on the cruise ship. But uh, it, it's, a, it's a game everyone plays that when, the, when the mask mandate hits. Also, coming back, vaccine mandate is back on the ship, sailing now out of that area and into that area. You now have to be fully vaccinated. 95% of people have to be vaccinated. That other 5% have to have a written medical exemption in order to sail, and it has to be pre-approved before you set sail. Now, keep in mind, these changes take effect this weekend, which means if you were going to Australia, chances are you may already be there <laughs> or you're on your way there. And now these protocols take place. And do you have a written exemption? If you don't, what is the process for getting your money back, your hotels, your airfare? Flying to Australia is not cheap. Uh, we're not sure what's going to happen with that yet. Not really anything coming out from Princess or Carnival about the uh, people who get stuck and caught in this situation. Remember, we signed a waiver saying that health protocols can change at a moment's notice. And this is one of those cases. Now, if you they change a protocol where you no longer qualify to take that cruise, you probably will be able to get your cruise money back but maybe not your airfare, maybe not your hotels. And that is not a fun situation, especially when it's a long trip like Australia. So we have the vaccine mandate is now back. You also have to test again. That's right, you now have to test 24 hours before the cruise if you're taking an antigen test, or you can have 48 hours if you're doing a PCR test. So once again, we're back to the protocols. They're also introducing more stringent cleaning processes, which we would hope they were doing all along anyway with the outbreak. We expected bumps in COVID and they are going through a wave right now. It was 16,000 reported cases last week, 27,000 reported cases this week, up over 50%. And they are now urging people to wear masks around Australia in public areas again. The health facilities, hospitals and everything have now been put back into place for masking as well. And I have a feeling very shortly they will change their protocols for the 
quarantine period. Right now they reduced it to five days if you are in Australia, seven days if you're in New Zealand. I have a feeling that will go back to the 10 to 14 days that it originally was uh, coming very soon. And in that case, people won't be just brought to the airport and flown home anymore. You'll be stuck in a hotel. So that hasn't happened yet. Don't get me wrong, that's not happened yet. This is just a feeling I have if the cases continue to rise with the history of the Australian lockdown and their quarantine protocols and the overhype, I still say in the media, I think these are some protocols that are gonna come in place. So once again, all Carnival Corporation ships so far have announced effective immediately. And is there a set date? Is it only for a week? Is it only for two weeks? No, until further notice. That's right, until further notice, these protocols are now in place. And uh, if you're on your way, if, you, if you're listening to this on the plane, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not my fault. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm here in the Caribbean and uh, I'm on the Harmony of the Seas. It's another beautiful day outside. We're having a lot of fun. I do have some issues. I do have some issues with what's going on on the cruise ship, not as far as you know, the, the, the cruise itself or protocols or anything like that. I have some issues with the way they do some things on the ship. And I'll do a video on that in the near future because I can compare it with the other cruise lines doing the exact same thing and their venues for doing it. And you would think that a venue with 6,000 passengers would have something set up better than the other ones. And what I'm seeing is it's kind of worse. Still fun, but worse. But I'll do a video on that in the future. In the meantime, if you're on your way to Australia, those are the new protocols if you're on a carnival ship of any sort. However, does that not mean that pretty soon you're gonna hear Royal Caribbean, you're gonna hear uh, you know, Costa, you're gonna hear MSC, and you're gonna hear Norwegian Cruise Line in Australia, New Zealand, coming out with these exact same procedures. I have a feeling you might be seeing that over the next few days as well. Well, until next time, everybody, I, uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and maybe even consider hitting that subscribe button if you wanna keep up to date with all things to do with cruising, including cruise vlogs, the cruise news, the new ships that are coming out, and just some hints and tips and tricks that'll help make your cruise just a little bit more fun and maybe even save you some money in the meantime. Just, just hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost anything. And uh, I do really appreciate it. And until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.